When did you first find out your story? I was adopted and I had a difficult adoption. I love adoption, but I just happened to have a difficult one. Um, In what way? I have a son who was adopted. Yeah, um, I, <laughs> my will was very much misunderstood <laughs> and very much put down. And uh, I had to have a will though to survive an abortion and learn to walk twice and all these things. <laughs> and I often say, you know, a strong will doesn't need to be shamed, it just needs to be guided. Mm -hmm. And so, thank God I have a strong will. But anyway, that, that was a lot okay. of my difficulty. Okay. Anyway, um, my foster mother, though, was the beauty in, in my story. Her name was Penny. I was adopted by her daughter. And I'm getting to your question. Okay, no, no, <laughs> it, take it, your time, it all, take it it all comes together. But Penny uh, just lost her. She was 91. And she cared for 56 foster children. Oh my gosh. And I was one of them. And when I was diagnosed with CP, there, she was the one. They said, Gianna will never be anything. And she just did not believe them. And she just changed my life. And so uh, she, she was amazing. However, her, her daughter told me what I had survived, my adoptive mother, on Christmas Day. I, uh, I know that sounds odd, but my whole life has been very odd. I was very inquisitive. I have a... How old were you? Twelve. I have a beautiful brain, and I was constantly asking questions, and I said, you know, why do I have cerebral palsy? And I was never satisfied with the answer, ever. It was because you were a premature baby or you had a traumatic birth. But on that day, she said, do you really want to know? And I said, yeah. And right before she said it, I do believe in the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I believe he has a voice. I just said... It was in my mind, and I said, I was aborted, right? Mm. And she said, yeah, yes. And as a 12-year-old, I just said, well, at least I have cerebral palsy for an interesting reason, and uh, called my friend. You know, it was just very bizarre. It's just the way it happened. And you know, I honor my adoptive mother as well for um, all that she has given to me, and but I just, I have the gift of cerebral palsy. See, that's why I get so upset when I hear such arrogance when people say, you know, if, if the baby is disabled, we need to terminate the pregnancy. Hello, who does that sound like, Adolf Hitler? I mean, how you cannot look at me and say, this is how far you're going to go. Only the Lord can determine that. And again, we're not allowed to say any of this, but I have to just say, sorry to interrupt, no, but no. I have to just say, I come from the land of the free and the home of the freaking brave. <laughs> Do not mess with me.